Good morning, guys. It's Friday morning. I just woke up. I'm tired still. Um, so this is what yesterday ended up looking like. I do need to fill in my steps and stuff. So yesterday, 22.16, I did not go for my walk yesterday. But I did do my 10-minute pregnancy workout in the morning. I need to move this up a little bit to right. So 22.16. It was busy yesterday for me. 0.66 miles, 103.4 kcal. Um, 16 minutes throughout the day walking. That's not good, but it's okay. I'm not gonna kill myself over it. Alrighty, so this was yesterday. I did pretty much everything on my list. Cup boys hair, I ended up not having to do that because my oldest son, um, he's actually my stepson, so his biological mother sent money for him to get his hair cut at a barber shop. So he was the main one that needed a haircut and I was gonna cut it, but she wanted him to go to the barber shop to do it, so she sent some money. So he went to the barber shop, so I actually don't need to do that. My two middle boys actually don't want their hair cut yet. I don't force them when to get their hair cut. I personally don't care. It's up to them if they want it. If they want it a little longer, I can always edge it up to make it look neat, but I won't cut it off if they don't want. Um, paint nails, obviously I did not do that. I did take off my nail polish um, off of my toes, but I was struggling to reach. I thought I could still reach, but apparently <laughs> apparently not um, that I'm not sure that wasn't my task you see that was for K K is the initial of my husband so I don't know if he did that or not I just put X because I don't know actually he did do that he did that after I finished my planner for the evening so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a check on that because he talked to me about it before bed um, I started the meal prep, but I still need to continue, so that's why it has a dot and an arrow. Check outside battery. I actually don't need to do that because as I was flipping through my planner this morning, I saw on one of my monthly calendars that that task is actually supposed to be a quarterly task. And I had it, I had it on two sticky notes, one as a monthly and one as a quarterly, and I was like, why am I going to do it every month and quarterly? That's just doesn't make sense so I've um, I've had my oldest do it sometime in January he brought the clock to me and I changed the battery and cleaned it up so we're gonna do it again in April which is why this is here on the on the April monthly calendar so I'm not gonna do that today or I just marked it off of my calendar so today's going to be a busy day. We had to have our oldest stay the night at his grandparents so he could walk to the school for his wrestling tournament early this morning. Um, so he's there. His tournament starts at, mm, I think, 9-ish. And I did write where it is, so I'm not going to show where it is, but it starts at 9. It's That's the tournament that it is. And um, I added this a couple days ago. These are the videos I wanted to do for February. Um, and it has four dots because it's record, edit, upload, and finalize. So this just shows me where I am in the process with all of my videos. I've been working on a week in my planner all week. I started working on hospital bag as in packing it, but I haven't recorded it yet. And these are already recorded, but not yet edited and stuff like that. So I have a doctor's appointment today with my OBGYN. They're going to look at baby through an ultrasound, even though we just saw her. They're going to check if she's head down. Here are some tasks that I need to do. And um, 
the clean floor I'm not so sure if that's gonna get done today because it is a busy day uh, cut baby's nails I definitely need to at least check if their nails need to be cut I try to do that at every week so I put a reminder because I don't want them cutting themselves so that's something so simple right that you would think you should not need a reminder for that but I'm telling you I need a reminder otherwise I won't notice until they have a big scratch on their nose and it's like oh my gosh what a bad mom <laughs> I don't really do mom guilt though I mean it happens you do your best paint nails I don't know if I'm gonna do that today um I might because I have my one of my son's godmom is coming over around 5 30 or 6 to help me dye my hair I'm gonna dye it with this uh, lime crime semi-permanent hair dye in this like red color called valentine so maybe while she's here she could help me paint my nails but if not it's no issue so i'm gonna leave these as tentative i'm not gonna write them in and i'm gonna move this to the following week so that's the 14th that's the 10th that's my birthday 14th cut baby's nails so we'll put that there um, so far so good um, I needed to highlight my ketone and blood sugar results from this morning doing good I had super high numbers last night which was not good right here 137 I gotta be under 120 I made a mistake with calculating my carbs at dinner because my kids were all trying to talk to me at the same time I was super hungry so I was already feeling like that hunger feeling and then I kept having to recount it like five times and they're just like mommy this ma that mommy this and I'm like guys shut up I'm trying to calculate what can I what I can eat for dinner because it has to be very specific numbers for my carb intake and I I miscounted and I had over 50 grams of carbs instead of under 45 so my blood sugar was super high and I was like what the heck is going on and I, like 10 minutes after taking this I kept trying to rethink the numbers rethink the numbers and then finally out of nowhere I'm like oh my gosh I forgot to add these grams to for some of the bread so yeah but it's okay my blood sugars it came down it went back to under 90 for the morning wait for the fasting sugar so I'm okay it just shows that I made a mistake which I notated because when I go to talk to the dietitian they're gonna see that spike and they might ask why so I wanted to remember why um, and I did already notate it. So I had for today, I had 0 and 89. 0 and 89. So that's good. The previous night's dinner I had a slightly high blood sugar too. But other than these two numbers right here, everything else has been super good. And then these two. Man, I ruined my perfect record. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Okay, this was yesterday. I did my Bible verse. I did my penmanship. I did not do my makeup nor like scrub my face or anything. I tend to take very good care of my skin when I wear makeup, but other than that, I just rinse with water. I don't really like do the whole routine. I will write in my journal for yesterday, this morning. I did do my feet. I know the colors by heart by now, so I do have a little code thing. Um, I'm always getting asked about these uh, habit trackers. These weren't really intended to be habit trackers when I created the pullout. I actually initially created this pullout as my homeschool overview. Um, 
Let me see if I can find it really quickly without showing some personal info. There it is. So this was the original annual pullout, and it's a academic year pullout with the whole year on one side. And I do it to track our, our vacations, our days off, our school days, when I want to keep in mind of progress reports and report cards so that way I know how they're doing in their in each class and um, when they have wrestling tournaments the circles and the WR so this was the original creation but I was like I need something where I can write in it because I wanted to write my exercises so I created for my exercises I created this with them bigger so I can write in what my exercise would be and how many steps I would have so I needed space for that so that's why I did this I made it six months to a side but then I was like I want to keep multiple trackers but I don't want to have 30 uh, I mean 12 trackers for every single month plus my exercise tracker plus my homeschool tracker plus my bible reading tracker so I was like I'm just gonna do all my daily habits on a tracker and keep it color coded with you know little dots and this is for the whole year one page for the whole year instead of 12 pages for each month so that's why you know I'm using it like these with the colors that wasn't my initial intent that was an idea that came along so once I tried it for my daily habit trackers I was like huh I can do this for my cleaning tracker I can do this for my I can do it for my exercise tracker and my reading tracker to see what days I'm reading and how long it takes me to read a book so Speaking of chores, actually, did I read yesterday on the 7th? Wait, is today the 7th? Oh my gosh. Today is the 7th. Yes, I read yesterday for the 6th, and I marked it. So yesterday for the 6th, the kitchen got clean, which is blue. That's an every single day must, as you can see. Every single day, light blue. My kids rotate that. And occasionally, my husband or I go in there and follow up after them with a real deep clean real clean you know what I mean like make sure it's really good the dining room got clean that is a should be an everyday must but a lot of times they forget and I wake up to a dirty dining room table with crumbs and sticky goo so that sucks but they're kids they're learning we're trying to teach them I have my color code up here um, dining room. I did do my master bathroom yesterday, so that's in light pink. Um, the living room got done, so that's in light green, and the entryway got done, that's in like the dark orange. So light pink, light orange, no, light pink, light green, dark orange. It looks orange, but it's actually called mild red. Is it showing? Mild red. But it looks like a dark orange to me. Okie dokes, that's it for that tracker. My husband did work yesterday, and I already logged that. Yesterday was... Thursday he taught one class today's Friday I'll ask him how many he, ta he taught when he gets home and that is it thus far for the morning um oh I did read this yesterday and I forgot to check it off so 
So for the wildflower, I don't really tell myself to read a certain amount of pages every day, but my goal for the week is 34 pages. So I'm using these two little tabs. The bottom one is where my goal is, where I should finish for my goal to reach it for the week, and the top is where I am. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of binge reading. I've been reading like one or two pages a day. So I still have... I'm on page 155, and I need to go to page 179. So I, I still have like 24 pages to read out of the 34 pages. I'm going to have to get it together. I'm going to try to copy the Bible today, but because I have an appointment and I have uh, my friend coming over at 530, I don't know about that. I'm definitely doing my hair and makeup today because, again, i got to go out of the house. It's not going to be anything fancy, but just something to look put together. I'm going to finish this video today, and it will be live. So I'll have that link right up here because this one is coming out after the journal split. So check that video out after this one if you want to. And we'll see. I'll see you guys tomorrow.